This week, I wanted to talk to you about uh, fall shrubs and perennials. What's great for planting uh, for fall color um, and winter interest, but we'll talk about winter interest in another video. Um, if this is the first time you've come to my channel, my name is Robin. I live in Connecticut, Northwest Connecticut in zone six. Uh, we used to be a 5B. I still think we are just because we're in a little bit of a microclimate here, but it is what it is. Um, so I wanted to talk what kind of shrubs are great for planting for fall color. Um, and there are a lot of them, the viburnums, the hydrangeas, uh, beautyberry. Um, and I, you can't forget the grasses. They really, they really provide a structure in the garden from the time they come up. Um, now, now they're blooming with their seed heads um, and you can leave them up through the winter. In September and October, it's really time to correct the mistakes that we've made throughout the year in our garden, dig things up, rearrange, divide, add new perennials, shrubs, trees, and then plant spring blooming bulbs. Um, time to cut back any perennials that have already finished blooming and continue to deadhead the later bloomers. Stop applying fertilizer. Um, in our zone, it's almost time to plant bulbs. The fall starting with the leaves already changing and the days are shortening. Start preparing your beds, get them weeded. Um, you can loosen up the soil to make it a little easier to plant bulbs. Um, add some bulb fertilizer, maybe um, bulbs like a pH between like six and six and a half. Start planning which bulbs will go where if you're intermixing them into your beds. I plant mine uh, with a power planter auger and I'll show you that when I do the planting. So let's start looking at some of the things for um, fall shrubs, things that you might want to consider planting now um, for fall color. Obviously, uh, next year is probably going to be when you're going to start seeing these things. Fall is the perfect time to plant. The plants have time to establish before the ground freezes and they're ready to grow in the spring. So first up, let's look at some of the asters that I have. I have Raiden's Favorite and I have Purple Dome. These are both zone three through eight. Uh, they're like normal soil or clay they can handle. They're great for pollinators. They attract butterflies. They have good cut flowers and they bloom for weeks. Next up is the oak leaf hydrangea, hydrangea corsifolia. Um, zones five through nine. This is Alice that I have. The leaves turn the most gorgeous color in the fall and they have an exfoliating bark that is just absolutely lovely when the leaves are gone. Of course, there are many, many types of hydrangeas and most of them are fabulous for fall color. This is Firelight Tidbit from Proven Winners, zone three through eight, um, blooms on new wood, which is great. Um, the, the panicles turn a gorgeous color. You can see here, mine have already turned. Um, in the fall, you have things like Little Lime, um, Limelight, Pinky Winky. There are just so many varieties to consider. Next up, Calicarpa Beautyberry, one of my favorites. I have Early Amethyst, zone five through eight, gets about four by five. Um, it gets, gets these beautiful purple berries. It's a very low maintenance shrub. It, it blooms on new wood. Um, you can prune it in the early spring. I can't talk today. Um, or you can actually literally almost cut it to the ground, which I've done a few times just to contain its size. Of course, for perennials, you can't go wrong with any of the Black Eyed Susans, Herbstone, uh, the Goldstrom, which is the, the most popular one, Indian Summer, I have Henry Eilers, um, you also have Hellenium. Um, there are just so many different things that you can um, use. You can cut them back, you can leave them for, so the birds have the seed heads. Um, they make a great fall, fall flower. Hellenium is also zone three through eight, loves that full sun. So if you follow me at all, you know I love spireas. I have many, many, many varieties. Um, there's Double Play, Big Bang um, from Proven Winners. I have another one called Magic Carpet, uh, Gold Mound. I, I have so many different ones. Um, reds, purples, 
pinks, blues, um, and they are a great fall shrub. They keep going. Uh, they rebloom as the season goes on. I love spireas. They provide interest from spring to fall. Another one of my favorites is the double file viburnum. I have a whole hedge of Mariesi, zone five through eight. They can get like six to eight tall, maybe a little taller, 10 feet wide, blooms April to May with a lace cap type of flower. Um, very easy to grow, medium moisture, well-drained soil, full sun to part shade. I absolutely love the fall color on this. Another viburnum that I have is called Brandywine uh, from Proven Winners, zone five through nine. Um, gets like five to six feet tall. It's got a very unique pink and blue berry in the fall, um, and that really pops. The birds just love that and destroy those berries. Very deer resistant, shade tolerant. Of course, we can't forget the uh, cotinus, the smoke bush. Um, I have royal purple. Um, it can get, it's zone four through eight and get, can get 15 feet tall. Um, I coppice mine sometimes all the way down when it just gets too big. Very easy to grow, doesn't mind clay soil, um, blooms like May to July, no serious problems. Right next to them, I have nine barks. I have Copertina, I have summer wine, and in the back of my yard, I have Diablo. These are basically zone three through seven, uh, three through eight, sorry. Um, they have, they take no work at all. They have a gorgeous exfoliating bark. Um, so they look lovely in the winter time with a really pretty vase shape. Try, try to put these in a place where you don't really have to cut them back because they're, they're very easy to grow. Drought tolerant, clay tolerant, dry soil. Um, and they have a lovely pink, um, pinkish white flower in the spring and just a gorgeous color in the fall. So the birds will love you if you plant this ilex, um, also known as a winter berry. I have Nana Red Sprite uh, for the females and I have Jim Dandy as a, the male. The, the birds just love these berries. Um, it blooms in summer. Um, you have this red fruit that hangs on late into the winter. It can get pretty tall, so you can keep it under control. Zones three through nine, uh, likes medium to wet soil, which is great for me in the front of my yard. Um, so it, it can handle a wet, boggy kind of situation. Um, mine is not quite that wet. Again, Nana is the female plant. And in order to get berries, you need both the male and the female plant. You can prune it to shape it in early spring, just before the new growth begins. Um, but these are lovely. I have not found them to get overly large. Mine are like three by three, um, and that's a very controllable size in my front yard. So the berry goes from um, a green, and then it, as fall progresses um, and it gets a little cooler, we get these really pretty red berries, but this is not an evergreen shrub. Um, it's a holly, but it's not evergreen. So the leaves do turn yellow brown and drop off. And then you have the, the branches that are lined with these berries until the birds destroy them, of course. Um, but a great option for you for the fall. And they make great um, cut branches for decorating. Already putting on a great show of color um, is my burning bush. Um, this is zone four through eight, can get 11 feet tall and wide, will handle clay soil, which is great for me, obviously. Prefers well-drained soil. I have it in a spot that's pretty wet, tell you the honest truth, but um, you can't beat it for color. As far as perennials go, sweet autumn clematis. If you love clematis, you want this one. Obviously, it's a climber. Uh, zones four through nine, uh, blooms now, late summer into fall, very fast growing vine up to like 20 feet. Um, so this is a great one if you love clematis. Another fabulous fall perennial is Amsonia hubricti, uh, blue star sometimes called. Zone five through eight turns a gorgeous color of gold in the fall, just gorgeous. Another perennial that I have is Monk's Hood. Erin Deasy is the one I have, zone three through seven. It blooms very late for me, sometimes almost too late if you ask me, but a beautiful purple hooded flower. 
Then you have some perennials like a still be chocolate shogun, which looks great all fall, all the sedums. Um, this is coral jade zone three through nine. Then you have your favorites, autumn joy, autumn fire, um, that go from that pretty green to this really beautiful, luscious pink, and it gets darker and darker as the fall goes on. Uh, the bees actually absolutely love it. And then if, if you leave the heads up, it looks gorgeous in the winter time. And of course, we all love the maple foliage, the red maples, the sugar maples. They're, they're just beautiful in the fall. So I don't think you can talk about fall without uh, considering the grasses for your garden. Uh, this is Calamagrotus Carl Foster. You see it all over. It gets used in public places a lot. Uh, zone five through nine gets uh, about five feet tall. Doesn't mind it a little bit wet. Um, then you have Mudri. And I'll go through these quickly because I have a lot of grasses. I love Carly Rose. It's got some pink heads. Um, and that always looks so pretty in the fall. I have it with Black Eyed Susans. I have a lot of Shenandoah. Um, again, really pretty seed heads. Little Zebra with the variegated grass. Um, Ruby Ribbons, you know, is my favorite because it gets redder and redder as the fall goes on. Just that blazing color. I love it. You can't beat the Rubrum annual grass. Um, something to consider if you have a small yard. Coming up in another video, we'll talk about winter interest plants like that uh, Hinoki cypress. So I'll leave you with some photos of fall from the bittersweet to the leaf covered lanes. Um, go out there for a hike. Anywhere you go, whether it's Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, um, you're going to find just absolutely stunning scenery places to go for a walk, a hike, a kayak run, a ride, go for a run, get those pumpkins. Um, don't, don't forget to just stop and like marvel at mother nature because it's really something quite amazing. Um, the reflections, the, uh, the, just the reds, the golds, the oranges, and before you know it, it's winter. <laughs> uh, try and leave the seed heads up, leave the grasses up if you can, um, and we'll talk more about winter interest in um, an upcoming video and after I show you my dahlia order. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative. I hope you found a couple of tips. Um, new ideas, maybe something to, to put in your garden that you didn't plan on um, and or discovered a new shrub or perennial. Uh, let me know what your favorites are. And as always, please subscribe, hit that like button. Um, it really does make a difference trying to get to that thousand mark. Um, and I really appreciate your support. Thank you. See you in the next video.